you really need a big expensive camera to take a great photo or will a mirrorless smaller compact camera suit you better? I'm Luke Hopewell from Gizmodo and thanks to Dick Smith, today we're going to find out. The big difference between a basic camera aimed at amateurs and occasional photographers and an advanced model for enthusiasts is that the high end variant will always take better photos in a wider range of lighting and environmental conditions. If you move up from a basic mirrorless camera to a high end one for example, you'll find that you're getting an image sensor far more capable at shooting clear and detailed pictures in low light as well as in complex lighting situations like under tungsten street lights for example. Only high end cameras have top of the line full frame imaging sensors that are the best you'll be able to buy in any consumer camera today. The specification improvement of advanced cameras aren't restricted to the digital image sensors though. In high end cameras you get superior autofocus systems that can lock focus faster in lower light, reducing the number of accidentally out of focus pictures that you'll capture. Their autofocus systems are also more versatile with a larger number of autofocus points spread around the camera's sensor, so you'll be able to focus more accurately if you're manually selecting focus points for more specific shooting scenarios. Compact cameras are renowned for being cheap, reliable shooters that are often more durable than their bigger brothers in the mirrorless and DSLR world. The distinction here is that while entry-level cameras are simpler and sometimes easier for a novice, they don't offer the same adjustability and versatility that a mid-range or high-end camera can. In the case of mirrorless cameras and DSLRs, moving up to a more advanced camera from a beginner's model can give you more dedicated manual shooting controls. You might have seen a mirrorless camera talked about online and just not realised it. They go by a few different names. They're alternatively called Compact System Cameras, or CSCs interchangeable lens cameras, ILCs, or electronic viewfinder interchangeable lens cameras, or EVILs. Whatever the name though, they're defined by one shared characteristic. They all work with different interchangeable lenses like a digital SLR, but don't have that system's bulky internal mirror, hence the mirrorless title. Despite being smaller, lighter, mechanically simpler, and more high-tech than digital SLRs, mirrorless cameras are just as powerful when it comes to actually getting on the ground and taking those photos. They're built using much the same principles so that they're easy to understand. You still get a lens mount and you still get a lens at the front, digital sensor inside and a big LCD screen and or viewfinder at the back with a comfortable hand and thumb grip for shooting controls. The big difference between a mirrorless camera and a DSLR is that when you look at a mirrorless camera on and turn it through the viewfinder, you get an electronic readout of what the sensor is seeing rather than optically through the lens via a light bouncing prism. That electronic readout lets a mirrorless camera show you exactly what photo you're about to capture along with the added versatility of boosted brightness in low light and the ability to see a bunch of shooting information, the stuff that affects your image capture in real time. Semi-Pro and intermediate DSLRs have better movie recording capabilities than entry level cameras. They're able to make more adjustments on the fly and give you movies that look better and more professional. Advanced cameras better autofocus systems mean you can record movies with smooth, seamless focusing, where cheaper cameras just stutter and stop. More advanced cameras are able to capture burst mode images at a higher frame rate, more photos per second, because they have more internal memory, better processing engines, and more robust shutter mechanisms. A higher frame rate is invaluable for shooting fast action and sports. One useful feature that sets advanced mirrorless and SLRs from lower end ones is more versatility in shooting raw image files. Raw files have a lot more data than JPEG, they're not compressed as much, with more colour information and a huge increase in dynamic range. At the end of the day, it comes down to how much you want to spend versus the photos you want to take. Decide on a budget for both your body and your lenses, or glass as it's known, and then compare that against the market.